Hey, what's up, guys? It's another TMD Hobby Japan Magazine review. We're going back in time. We're doing Back to the Future. This is the September 2021 edition. This is number 627. As you can see by the front cover, it's got some Evangelion stuff. And uh, let's crack on, guys. So as we open the first page, as you all know, um, same old stuff. This is pretty cool. They have a, a Subaru Bear Brick. Awesome, I didn't know about that. Uh, Kingdom Hearts. They always have these Medicom stuff inside the uh, the front sleeve here. Um, which is pretty, pretty dope. Big shot going out to Rebels at Cloud9, um, Jared, big shot going out to Gary, all my American friends, happy belated Thanksgiving. Got a bit of a treat for you guys, yesterday I'll talk about this on uh, after this video, but uh, I managed to get one of the new Praying Mantises uh, by Bandai, the Gachapon toy. Going to do a quick build after I've done this review. And yesterday, me, my wife and the kids, we went to uh, Ikibukuro, we went to the actual um, Bandai Namco kind of gachapon centre at Sunshine City. Really cool place, uh, loads of cool toys, um, but I'll talk about that later on. Getting into the uh, menu, what's in this month's edition. Uh, big shout going out to the guys as well that um, corrected me and helped me um, answer a few things back on the last video. I think it's Lud from uh, England. Is that right? I can't remember. A few other guys. Start off with this border communication space. Some Gendem stuff. I think if I was corrected, uh, I think this is some supplementary bandai thing i don't think it's gundam it's something else but anyway wow look at that 172 three, wow that's pretty cool i don't know anything about this i should have researched it before uh, i started the video but i can check later some evangelion stuff woo busts The resin. I know you guys are pretty keen on this magazine. Uh, I know a lot of people have, have had a quite, for my channel, quite a lot of views for it. But uh, hopefully I'm going to go backtracking. So I've done December. I've got November. Sorry, November, October. This is September, and then I'm going to do a whole back backlog of this year's Hobby Japan magazines. It's the Evan stuff. I don't want to make this video too long, but you guys can um, basically see what's what's going down. If I change the light source a little bit. Is that better? So you're going to get light around here. Sorry about that, guys. But. I need to get um, a diffuser or something. <sighs> Some awesome diorama work here, guys. Can you see? What I'll do, guys, is I'll, uh, is I'll actually, as I turn pages, I'll, I'll just pause it. For I don't know, a few seconds, whatever, so you guys can have a sneak peek because basically you're watching it how I read it right now. I can't be asked to turn that around, <laughs> but anyway, what's this thing? Eva 05 mass production model, that's pretty cool, that man. I like it. Some custom work. You can subscribe to this if you go through Hobby Link Japan. 
I think they do. They, they sell this magazine. I mean, I can get get it for you guys if you tell me. But shipping is going to be quite expensive because this magazine is not light by all means. It's quite heavy. Wow, the Moy oh the UCC. I have one of these. Why don't they make these again? Shit. Where is it? It's somewhere in my house. Oh, not unless I threw it away. I don't think I did throw it away. I'll have to look for that. UCC coffee is one of my favorite coffees. They have like this condensed milk. It's one of my favorite brands for coffee in Japan. And that toy I got like frigging eight years ago, probably longer, way back. They're probably the coolest toys you can get with like, you know, coffee and whatnot. I hope they do that again. It'd be awesome. Got the Kia, one six scale PVC model. Ray, gone, gone all out on the Evangelion stuff in here. It's a cool model kit, that man. Bandai Spirits. Look at that. Look at that, guys. That's so cool. So cool. Um, I know Jared, aka Rebels, said something about my audio. Yeah, the audio on my GoPro is not the best. Um, I should really be using my mic, but... Um, anyway, it's just Shogunai. <laughs> Unavoidable. I'm sorry about that, but... I mean, you guys get the general gist of what's going on in this magazine, but... You don't want to hear me waffling on all, all the way through it, but... As you can see, it's a really cool little diorama building. What the hell is that? MIS. It's crazy. It's called Chrome. Bandai Spirits figureized Rabo. It's a beautiful thing, that. Not too bad, eh, for Bandai. Some blurb. I know some of you guys have obtained some of these kits. Real grade mark 09 RG. Combat configuration in improvised unit zero eight three ICC. Holy shit, and there's some cool stuff coming out. <laughs> some really cool stuff, guys. Some really cool stuff. Can lower that this camera. I've got to be really careful. My I had some oh shit, you see, <laughs> I had some real bad camera issues last video. It was a, it was a, it was a nightmare. So I'm trying to get as close as I can get in, and it because as well. What's this? Kayado PVC model. What the hell? So uh, yeah, it's a real, that's a really good section on uh, the Evangelion. Some more stuff here. <clears throat> they sack a whole half of the bloody magazine is on the Evangelion. It's crazy. Let you guys see it. I mean, I could spend easily over an hour going through this bit by bit, but to save the sanity of my viewers, this is just like, you know, a general overview. And if you see any kits you like, obviously order them. Uh, in terms of what I'm doing, business with TMD is, is kind of closed at the moment, so maybe after New Year. 
so I won't be really taking any orders or accepting anything. These kits are actually, some of them are actually hard to obtain. They, they get sold out. Uh, I was in Akihabara at the weekend. I didn't really do any, um, like, um, models, like, viewing or anything like that. Um, I know Volks has moved one of their stores. Um, so I want to do a video there one time. Uh, this, this must be out of here. I'm getting one to 100 scale. This is by Cobra Kia. Vehicle takeoff landing aircraft. Some dope stuff there. We've got all lights in there as well. Some more even got how much stuff is oh, it's by Coke Bikini and Bandai. There's a lot of stuff come out here. It's called Diorama. Well made, beautiful. Looks basic, but I like it. Coke Bikini, that must be. Kind of using the frame arms gold type. Eva store. Oh, these are not by Coke Bakir. My bad. Uh, Gundam stuff. This is the RX-78 Unleashed. Oh, mad kit this is, man. Mad. So many panel, panel details on this kit. I know Adam Savage was, I think, building this right, if I'm not mistaken. I know these sold out pretty quick. This is the another variant here. The yeah, RX is still the iconic uh, Gundam. I presume these are different, like color combinations or whatnot. It's pretty fucking epic, that man. Uh, the Nightingale, high grade beast. Big shout out to Samuel Decals as well. Is he? I think that guy's still going, right? I still have a Sazabi to build. I still have all the metal parts and the Gatling gun. This is, oh man. Too, no, no time, guys. No frigging time. F90 2D Gundam, F90 Unit 2D type. <coughs> Let you guys have a bit of a glance, a bit of a perv. Gundam Death Sky. I got one of these kits way, way back. Gundam Wing, back in the day. 1 to 100 scale. Awesome. Back some memories. Uh, Shenlong. It's all the wing stuff, right? Gundam Breaker. Something new. Sure, you guys recognize some of that. And then we get into the model building tips and tricks. Again, I, I don't want to spend too much time in here, but you get what's going on. I'll do conversions, upgrades, panel, um, scribing, modifying the head unit. Pretty interesting, man. Now I found out at work that all the magazines that we get, apparently at the end of the year, they'll be gifted out to people at work. So I'm going to pester the, the librarian. 
I wouldn't say she was a, a professional library. She's a woman that does all the magazines that come in. So we get all the CGI, Edge, old video game stuff, model stuff, car stuff, photography, all sorts. It's crazy. So, it's a bust. And the factory Yokohama. Uh, what's that? Is it that Zok thing? Another custom build. <sighs> so much stuff in you guys. These are by the pros, obviously. You got pretty goddamn good, man, if you ask me. Gundam, uh, Gunpla new item. What's that? I don't know what that is. Don't like the legs on that. Sharp looking. Presume these are new kits out by Bandai. A GP zero or something. Yeah. The GP01. Love this kit, man. Love the Gundam. I don't know why I like these panels. Like this leg section, I really find it awesome. I know this kit was quite hard to get way back. I don't know how the availability is now for it. But, Zach's. But like I said, I mean, all this stuff to me now, uh, it's a bit repetitive. Um, some, there are some cool stuff, but I mean, how far is this genre going to go? I mean, I know you guys out there love this shit. Oh, it? More even. Uh, I don't know if this is... What's this one? Oh, it's not like desktop toys and stuff like that. Miniatures, gachapons, or whatnot. <clears throat> Zoids. More Gundam stuff. Pilots. Got a cool poster in here. It's Evangelion. I know some of you guys get hard on for that. Merchandise. Good damn related merchandise. Uh, I had a few questions from people about the Gundam Cafe. Yeah, it's is, it is actually still there, I think. Yeah, I was there on Saturday. It's still there. I don't know when it's closing down, but... Metal Robot. Car Signature. Akihabara is not busy right now, for obvious reasons, but it's kind of strange seeing it not so busy like that. Some blurby, I don't think you guys are interested in that. Bandai Spirits was just called Bayakuchi. I don't know if that's that from that new series. about the demon. I think we mentioned this in the last video, I can't remember. I can't remember. It's a pretty cool kit though. It's kind of blocky. It's kind of got weird proportions on there. Climax. I don't know what that series is from. Aura. Aura Battle Survive. Not my cup of tea, but it looks pretty, uh, pretty awesome. Nice build. Like again, I'm so out of the loop with a lot of the stuff like this. There's only certain things I'm really into, but <clears throat> I do appreciate like stuff like this that I've never seen. It is pretty cool. Wow, 
go on to. Aoshima Super Uzarada. Like this car. Just for some old school stuff. G Woon Bandai Spirits. If you guys please type in the comments, educate me on this stuff because I have no idea what this is. <laughs> Five star stories out, obviously, and uh, any, anything else. Like... I know people get hard on for this. I know Adrian, I know Adrian's really into this stuff. I mean, I, I, it's alright. I like it. I'm not really into like thin, elongated stuff like this, but I do appreciate the designs and stuff. But... Bandai Spirits. He's churning a lot of the stuff up. Churning out a lot of this stuff, man. Let me skip past all because we're still we're not even halfway through yet, guys. <laughs> Leanne Leanne Gun Kid Bandai. I don't know what the hell this is. It's not that Voltron stuff, is it? <clears throat> Shokugan Modeling Project. Some Zoids there. Bandai Spirits again. Don't know what the hell this is. Spinatia Vilainess. 30 minutes missions. Pretty mad stuff, guys. Square Enix products. Flight unit hard to do nine type S from near Automata. Put a pipe there. Mm. Macro stuff, guys. Oops. Ultraman. Just like that. Skip the ads. It's a nice kit, is that? Ultraman suit zero. Wow. <laughs> it's a big fucking weapon, that man. Godzilla stuff. <coughs> Godzilla vs. King Kong. Look at that. Alice Gear. All the Coat Bakir stuff. Chicks with big knockers. Guns. <laughs> Character new kit review. Raymond's Megami. Still pumping a lot of that stuff out. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. They have. What's that? By Copa Kia. Some Zoids. Magazines. So much stuff in here. Some anime stuff. Anime this is, it looks pretty new. Some bikes. Some bike kit, I don't know who, who missed that bike. They're like small miniature bikes, really. not huge. Interesting. One to one twelve scale. Ah, so I think these bikes are kind of the old school, like police bikes, or like the uh, Asahi Shimbun newspaper company, maybe. Honda Super Club. Yeah. 
kind of amazing Japanese clock still use these old bikes. It's a nice little diorama there. Right setup, simple, basic. Oshima. Back to the Nomiken tips and tricks. Pabuzaku, that I think. It's really amazing how they can do all these little um, little upgrades. Warhammer. Awesome to see uh, Games Workshop or Warhammer stuff being uh, implemented in here. Ah, hobby photograph. Interesting. This is the tips and tricks for taking pictures. That is, uh, that's kind of handy to know that. Tools, senders. <coughs> this dark stuff here. Can't pronounce that. It looks bloody dark. <coughs> Weird creature things. Extra magazine. <coughs> Phantom. McDonald Douglas. Awesome build up. These blankets are amazing. Plain information there. Before J. It's just a whole section on the Phantom, man. <laughs> Pretty mad. Tanks, Polish C, 70P. Don't know how to pronounce that. Merkava M Mark IV link with Noichi Cal. My main models. More tanks. A really nice build by the way. We've just done that. See the Hercules transporter here. These things, I don't know if it is this yeah, it is this one. This plane flies over my house. If it's the one that I'm thinking of. These transporter planes. Russian fighter Su-57. These blankets are really nice. Sorry guys, I'm rushing through. So I'm trying to keep this video quite short. Mercedes Benz, Le Mans 24 hour. The engine detail in that is pretty amazing. Man. Oops, sorry. Oh, no. Nissan Skyline, GTSR. Some bike kits. Beautiful. The detail on, on these kits are pretty insane. saying that for years <laughs> but yeah these bike kits the detail is phenomenal especially if you can get that old metal upgrade parts rally that diorama there oh i missed the whole bit there it's just part of the diorama there audi quattro New, new products out for the military guys, transport guys, boat guys, plane guys. What's that? Ooh. Main cutters. Decals, car kits. Never ending guys. Never ending. What the hell is that? 
H M. What the hell is that? It's a little fetus thing from an alien. <clears throat> by uh, if you want to check this this stuff out, it's by a guy called um, if you're on Twitter at show Yamamoto. Instagram show underscore Yamamoto underscore. It's a sculpt. That is sick, man. Pretty, pretty disturbing. Saint Seiya. Not really a big fan. I don't think many of you guys are either. Tamishi Nations. About the shop in Tokyo. This is all like the Kunio stuff, right? Kunio did all that artwork. Kamen Rider, a Marvel, I'm sure you guys are probably interested in this. I'll show you some stuff. Could be figures, Medicom, Superman, Wonder Woman, Icon World. Now we get into the pervy stuff. Pants and ass. Schoolgirl crap. <laughs> Got this bike kit. A good smile. So it's not a kit, it's a figure. Still churning all this stuff out, guys. I know some of this stuff probably doesn't interest most of you, but... So this stuff doesn't interest you either. This is junk, man. I, I, I'm not a big fan of all this collectible crap. Tits and ass as per usual. Ah, I don't know. <laughs> this is uh, this is what young guys in Japan salivate over. Oh dear. Go with big tits. More bunny girls. Can you see, like, all this stuff gets repetitive? <laughs> Jeez. <sighs> Wonderful. More tits and ass. It's, it's no wonder the, the people, this, the young guys in this country are a bit warped. Never gets, never gets. How much are these? Wow, the, these things are really expensive. Like three hundred dollars for this. <sighs> for, a, for a figure. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. Enough of that. Oh no, not more, not more of this stuff. We don't want any more of this. We don't want any more. I don't know what's with all this bunny stuff. The bunny stuff is uh, quite nice. <sighs> yeah. It soon gets boring. Oh, wow. Okay. So there's a lot of figure stuff, Volk stuff there. Toy, new toys. <laughs> There's a Rocky toy there, that's pretty cool. Right, top left, uh, top right, so yeah. Toys, 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 it's never ending, guys. This is why most of you guys love Japan, right? This is where you want to come out here to see all this stuff. But honestly, for a person, a foreigner that lives here, it does get fucking boring. I mean, these are all the ads and stuff like that at the back. Um, yeah, it kind of gets boring, guys. Um, but anyway, that's the review over. That was that 
September edition. But now, guys, let's get into some fun stuff and uh, let's build this. So guys, let's get on with this little build. Right, so we went to the uh, Sunshine City, it's this huge place in uh, Ikebukuro in Tokyo and they had like, uh, oh they have, it's crazy, they must have, <laughs> I'm trying to calculate how many toy machines, gachapon machines they have, toy wise, I think maybe. I think we're talking well over 500 different toys. <laughs> it was absolutely crazy. This place, I didn't, I didn't film in there because I felt a bit awkward. I think they might have told me to stop filming in there, unless I did it covertly. But um, I managed to get myself um, the version two praying mantis that Bandai are making. The Bandai have released, I think they've got a turtle, they've got like a, a lizard. What else have they got? They've got a spider. And I think they might have had some more stuff, but this is like version three, no, version two release of the Prey Mantis series. Because I like Prey Mantises, um, I only buy these toys. Oh, stuff that interests me a lot. Um, I actually managed to get the one that I wanted, which is the green one. They've got three... Oh, no, it's not green. It's brown. Um, they had, like, three versions of this. And I messed up because, actually, I thought I'd got the one that I wanted. But, anyway, it doesn't matter. This, I will try and get all three. This is the, uh, the head. These things are quite easy to construct. These mantises are a bit different though from the ones that you see. Um, they're a bit different because they've got like this kind of leaf camouflage effect. I think I know where most of these parts go. You don't need any cutters for these. You do need to get these legs in the right spot. I don't know. Oh, oh. well, sorry, my bad. You don't. You don't. You don't need cutters. They do come on a little sprue, but um, we can do some guesswork in. I presume this slots in there. The ball joints are pretty good actually. They're a bit a bit too tight for my liking but it's better to be it's better to be oh man that doesn't even go in. Whoa 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 rewind rewind presume to that these two go at the back these two go at the front but that ball joint is incredibly tight incredibly tight oh man I know why maybe there's a little bit left over on the the ball joint shave a bit off there oh god that's why yeah uh, I had to just shave a little bit off it off the end presume these are the back these are the back legs This goes at the front. 
it's weird how solid actually I should put these back back legs in first but anyway they had three of these I'm actually after the green one I thought I had it because when I opened it right the packaging comes in these green packets so when you look at it first glance um, You think that it's uh, it, 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 it. the leg bits are a bit confusing. But these ball joints are absolutely crazy. Just dropped it. These ball joints, if you're a kid, I'm 41, I can barely get those in. Anyway, that's it. Yeah, there's a bit of like overhang here. Only a tiny bit, but it still affects it how it goes in. Big shout out to Ben as well, Ben Gilbert out there. Is that right? I have a feeling that maybe I've put them in the wrong way. Stupid me. I think it's that big though. Eh? Let me go back guys. <laughs> I can't even put this thing together. Why is it like that? Left and right. It is marked on the little sprue thing. Right and left. But me being a complete moron. I think curved bit goes in. Ah, I think I've got it right. The curved sections should go in. Let me just double check on the other bits. Yeah, everything's in place. Right, Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> it's not easy. Now, I'm worried about this ball joint because this ball joint looks freaking crazy. So as you can, I don't know what species this is. It's uh, man, man to deer. I've never seen these mantises um, in Japan. So I wonder if they're like a, a foreign species. Now these things do come with uh, wings. Because uh, mantises actually, uh, they do... They do fly. I think these bits. I don't know if they actually. They must fit underneath here. Some. Ah, they do, yeah. A bit finicky. So you can have it in fly mode, like this. By the way, this cost, I think, is it 300 or 500? I think it was 500. 
Some of the gachapon toys are actually quite expensive for what, what they are. But generally they're about 300, 300 yen. Um, the bottom thorax section is, it moves. See that guys? And then obviously it comes with this stand. Try to see how this stand fits. This comes with the base. I'm looking back on the previous ones that I made, I believe. You have to adjust these so it goes like so but I don't want it like like that oh man these things are pain in the ass man there's only one way that can go in just like that Obviously that angle is way off. And we've made a bit of a boo-boo. But it's a simple fix. Like that. And then move all this plastic garbage. This should fit in. Like so. Attack mode. I think I mentioned this on the last video that I made. Gonna have to just tweak a little bit of it. And it should fit like that, guys. These claw sections are. articulated as well so this is it that's what it looks like it's pretty mean look at that 